Um, I always kind of game plan it a little better. Um, we're kind of getting after him at different looks besides just, you know, rushing four guys, um, moving me to some different spots and, you know, rushing me from there. And so I think that's been like a really big difference and why there's been such a change in that. You feel like you're a lot harder to game plan for for an offense this year than years past? Yeah, I mean, just because I'm not lining up in the same, you know, the same spot each play. Um, just kind of moving me around, you know, giving, giving the offense different looks. Travis, when they first, you know, I was a real successful defensive end for three years when they moved you as a senior. What was your honest initial reaction and how do you feel about it now playing by? Um, you know, I was a little nervous at first because, um, you know, coach kind of told me, you know, they're going to try and put me, you know, at will linebacker, you know, different spots like that. And so I was kind of a little nervous about the learning curve, but, you know, honestly, it wasn't really anything different. Um, you know, it's really easy to adjust to and it's going out and playing football. Um, so, I mean, I'm really, really happy with the position now. You like it better or is it too soon to say this new kind of role you have? Oh, I mean, I seem to like it better. <laughs> I seem to have a little more fun out there. How much do you feel it energizes the defense when you guys make a big play with a sack like that? I mean, it, it energizes us. I mean, any big play you know, gets the defense going. Um, and we gotta we gotta do more of that, even on you know not the huge plays. We gotta you know get excited and show emotion out there. And I think that's one of the things we gotta continue to work on. And what are you doing to work on that defensively going into Oregon? Uh, you just we gotta do that same thing at practice. Um, you know, we got to bring that same energy out to practice because I mean, if you don't practice it, it's not going to happen on Saturday. I mean, so that's really one of the big things we're going to work on this week. What happened on the that, the last play from Colorado on the draw? Was it an alignment thing? Was it just? Um, just probably wasn't the. Um, maybe not, not a great call to be in a you know draw. We were uh, running a little inside game and uh, you know just didn't have someone there to make the play. I mean, What's the locker room mentality right now going into Oregon? I'm um, ready to play Oregon. Um, it's next week, next game. You know, got to take it one game at a time. So we're trying to focus all of our attention on Oregon now, and I'm just getting ourselves ready. Um, you know, to play. Coach Lee said uh, in, the, in the last couple of weeks that you guys have practiced so solid. Then you go out, and it's not translating onto the practice field or onto the on the football field on Saturdays. What do you think it is that needs to change for that to happen? Um, it's just decision. You know, it's a personal decision from each player um, that you want to go out and finish and compete. Um, you know, full four quarters, and until that gets done, I mean, we're gonna have issues. So, I mean, each one of us has to, you know, make the decision. For you, as a senior, I mean, do you take it on yourself to kind of try to help that along with some other guys? And yeah, definitely. I mean, and... as a, you know, a, one of the lead players on this team, and a, being a senior, you know, that's my responsibility to, you know, get more out of your teammates and the guys around you. So, just a lead by example kind of thing. Coach Leach singled you out for. Playing hard, playing well on Saturday. You just trying to set the tone. Uh, that's just how I play football. I mean, I mean, that's how I think a lot of people play football. You play to compete and you know play to win. And uh, you know it hurts when it doesn't come that way. But you know I definitely think my role as a leader is kind of lead by example more than just you know going out and talking. What's the key going into Oregon? Is it being assignment sound? Because if you're out of position, they're gonna wreck you. Like... Yeah, I mean just be where you're supposed to be and uh, not hesitating and playing fast. I mean, Hesitate against these guys; they're gonna bust a big run on you. So, have you seen a team in your career quite like them throughout the years that they just always seem to reload and they're always so fast? I mean, just they kind of bring to mind. Or I mean, Oregon. <coughs> so. Aside from aside from team goals, do you have any personal goals for yourself going into each season, especially this season being moved to the buck linebacker position? Uh, I mean, I didn't really set any you know personal goals or anything. So. You talked about playing with more emotion. Is that something the team talks about? Is that something you guys are really focusing on as you move into the next games, playing with more emotion, being able to feed off that? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's, emotion just gives you energy, and uh, you play better when you got all the energy in you. And you know, I think we kind of fell flat sometimes during that last game, and that was uh, our issue. So I mean, it's something we got to practice. Any questions on the line for Travis? Travis, Bud Withers, Seattle Times. Um, even with the talk about emotion and so forth, it seemed like the, the big plays given up in the fourth quarter Saturday are really mental mistakes, right? I mean, it, isn't it 
I mean, yeah, there were some definite, you know, assignment breakdowns, which cost the big plays. But a lot of that, I mean, could have been prevented if um, uh, your head's more in the game and uh, you're more excited to be, more excited to play than them. Anything else, bud? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Any other questions for Trav? So if you guys play the Century Link, is, does that make it feel like a away game, or what's it like playing out there in the last few days before? But... Um, I mean, it's obviously not Martin Stadium, so it's not a true home game, but I know we've played there before, so it won't be too too much of a difference. If you like playing that, that game against the Oregon schools there every year, do you like that? Uh, it doesn't, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's another okay. game. Has there been any talk, you know, put the call game behind us, let's go out there and shock the world and beat Oregon? Has there been any that mentality and that kind of talk going on? Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, definitely. I mean, if you don't have that mentality, you you can get crushed. So, I um, mean, you obviously got to focus like that and uh, prepare like that all week. What do they really do well offensively that you guys need to be able to do? Uh, I mean, this, they run that read zone really well. Um, they get on the edge. I mean, so we just we got to set an edge all week and um, you know practice that and you know just work on getting to the ball and uh, getting eleven hatch to the football. That definitely. Helps against offense like that. Travis, obviously, a defensive play, especially on the line, uh, statistics don't always you know, relate how well you played, but Xavier, like yourself, Saturday, not only did the stats, but he made some you know, glaringly great plays a couple times. Uh, how do you feel about the way he's bouncing back from his injury and, and what impact he can have on the defense? Uh, I mean, he can have a really big impact for us. Uh, he's coming along. I think the injury kind of hurt him you know, with his mental progression. Um, but I mean, he's getting better each each game, each week. Um, so I mean, he's he'll be a good player for us. What do you mean when you say his mental progression? What do you mean by that? Uh, just getting more in tune with the calls. You know, knowing I mean what you're supposed to be doing every play without having to think about it too much. I mean, that just comes with more time and you know more reps. So. Did you guys practice yesterday? Mm -hmm. How was it? Or what was the feel out there? It was good. It was it was good Sunday practice for us. Um, Got a lot of stuff done.